Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Heavy Rain. So last episode, we spent pretty much a little bit of time as everybody. Um, we started things off with Ethan, got a new task for him. Origami Killer wants him to go become a killer, so that's something that I think we're getting ready to get into with him. Um, and then after that, we went over to Norman. He was having some more drug problems, playing pianos, talking to wan random waiter dudes, possible butler. And, uh, then we went to Shelby and Lauren, who were going to see a man about some typewriters who ended up getting killed while we had our backs turned. And then we had to wipe down the place for Prince and head out before the cops held us up. So, that's kind of where we are with everybody right now. Um, I tried to start this up yesterday and everything yet recording, but it was being really weird and glitchy. Like, I would get to the title screen and then the title screen would just be like flickering constantly and I was like well maybe it's just the main menu so then I tried starting up the game and then when I got to this stair scene and stuff the like Thursday that shows up in the bottom right hand court or left hand corner um started flickering as well so I just like backed out of it and I tried a couple of times but each time it did the same thing uh doesn't seem to be acting up today so fingers crossed everything will be fine 15 a.m. 3.36 inches. And we got a gun! And a missing finger! And a son to fight for! Hello? Anybody home? I'm supposed to kill somebody at this address. Take a picture. Hi. Yeah? What do you want? What? I say. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man. I think I'm supposed to kill you. Hey. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. You sure we can make a deal, huh? So you just. Drug dealer, or are you like drug kingpin? What are you? Okay, he's bad. <laughs> uh, right, left, I mean, right now. <laughs> yep, dude, he is freaking loaded. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna keep moving. Uh oh, yep, yep. I'm no, yep. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this now. <laughs> I was already kind of hesitant with it, but we're seeing things. Oh. Woo. Damn, man. How many rounds of ammo do you got? Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You want some dope? I don't want dope. I want my Please. son. <laughs> Please don't kill me, man. I got children. Yeah, I noticed that. Please there were drawings all over the door. This one's Sarah. Shit, now I can't kill him. <laughs> and a little one. That's Cindy. Please. It's the code among Sarah's. You can't kill each other's dads. Please. Please don't shoot. Can you not be a drug dealer anymore? I need my son! <sighs> will, shoot, will not shooting him like completely take me out of the running or... It just can't, right? It can't take me out of the running. I mean, this wouldn't be an option otherwise, right? I mean, he's a drug dealer, but he has kids. But I want my son! <laughs> but I don't want to be an evil person. But he's kind of an evil person, but who knows why he's doing the drug dealing. It's a complicated gray area, man. I mean, the shotgun isn't so much, but I mean, if it comes protecting himself and his kids, then, uh, you know, it's what you gotta do. Oh, this is bad. This is stupid bad. Fuck. 
can't kill another Sarah's dad. <laughs> I'm a father too. Also that. Be better, man. I'm no killer. We had something taken from us. We're not taken from others. Fuck that. We can still do this, right? Uh, that was a mistake. Maddie, do you have any opinions on this? Are we going to confide in you? Or we'll get back to the motel or. Nope, you're not even there. 1 32 p.m. 3.43. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Yeah, you're still pretty mysterious, Maddie. No, we got some random Sam guy in the mix. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. All right. Look well, at you doing some sleuthing. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Mm hmm. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Well, we'll figure it out. Hey, man, I'm Jones and real bad. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Kinda looks like Colin. Sorry. From whose line is it? Informed. Goodbye. Excuse. No. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Everybody always looking at her ass. <laughs> eyes up here, except so, you can't see my eyes, so... you're looking for Betropin, my dear. <laughs> Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Um... Gotta get him talking, so... No answer? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. That's bold of you. Super bold of you. They even give me a chance to reply. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Um... Vague? <laughs> I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. That's good. Um... Medicine, I guess, start... things Can off. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Fuck you. Forget it. I'm not for sale. I guess apartment. <laughs> I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Yeah, the ones burned down to a crisp. That struck a chord. You're not drinking? Um. Shit, yeah. Yeah, sure I am. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> Having some trouble. 
Definite mistake. Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> I was just kind of ignoring it, but then I tried not to be rude and look where I got us. <laughs> be rude! Be as rude as you want to be mad! Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck! What the hell?! Ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. That went from zero to a hundred real so quick. You're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read this it. Escape screaming, darling. Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Struggle! Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. What the hell, man? To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough. What the hell do I do? <laughs> I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. What I the fuck? Instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Just keep screaming. Hopefully, someone hears. I'm pretty sure that doesn't have shit to do with surgery. <laughs> I mean, not initially. You have to, like, cut things open first. Not my knees, 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 not my knees. Not there either! Not there either! <laughs> have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do Jesus. this work, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Fuck you! Still boo. I won't be long. Uh, he probably has the place soundproof, but still. <laughs> Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Okay. Okay, one foot off. Good. Oh, slowly, slowly. Come on, you. I come to bring the word Come on. Okay, slowly. Just enough to catch the bonds. No come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, brother. You listen to him. Okay, come on. Up we go. Up we go, come on. You keep him occupied, man. Beautiful. Fuck yeah! Fuck you! Yeah! Yeah! No, wrong thing! Eh? Throwing fight! Wrong throwing fight! Triangle shit! Sorry! X! You're good! Up! Oh, damn it! Oh god, we're failing this horribly. You're good! You're good! You're good! Triangle, triangle, triangle! Now this I can do! Mash! Up! Stab the shit out of them! Up! Come on, a little blunt, for blunt force. Kick him up. Right in the balls, go! Yes! That didn't work too well. No, fuck him. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, up, up. Nope, 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 nope. You fuck off. Come on! X. X for safety, circle. Up, right. Come on, girl! You got this! You got this! No, down! You got it! Circle! No way in hell is this happening! Up! Keep it going, girl! Right! Come on! Not today, motherfucker! No! 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 Off! Off! Bad! Maddie? Maddie? Maddie! Use it! Yes! Ah. Fuck you! All the fuck yous! Oh, fucking creep! Jesus! Bash in the head for good measure! Double tap! Jesus! Where the fuck did that 
come from? <laughs> Shouldn't we? Yeah, okay. I thought she was going out the front door. Paco? Blue Lagoon. He was mentioning something about that, too. With dancers or something. Seriously, where the hell did that come from? I guess we're right on track, though, with, you know, Origami Killer. I'm assuming crazy murderers run in circles, right? I mean, not in reality, but occasionally. <laughs> occasionally in reality. Alright. I thought you would have been the one to kind of figure this out, Normie boy. Yeah, just saying. Is he going to check on our rex car? What, what do you want to do? John? 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. We can do this. Blake? Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Well, fuck Blake. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, he slept. Why are we the here? Scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Okay. Withdrawal. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. You're doing fine, buddy. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Okay, and bulldozer? Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. And Mad Jack himself. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Yeah, don't want him to turn out to be some random murderer. <laughs> this happened to stumble into- Hey, Quacker! What you doing in there? Excuse me. I was looking for Tom you, Jane, I think. FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Easy enough question to answer, man. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Okay, you want to be a dick about it. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? How about we be reasonable? I never saw your damn car. Gonna take a walk. Might have something to do with missing kid, maybe? Maybe that'll appeal to him. <laughs> Dude, don't make me snoop. <laughs> I am the master of the snoop. All right. All right, one. What we got here? Blood. Now, why is there blood here? That is a question. And what would be under this this grate over here? Oh, what do you look? Skull. So, random murderer it is. Up, oh, round two. Okay. I was wondering if it was weird. Asking too many questions. Camera angle or not? Hands off, sir. Not very polite. <laughs> Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Dude, you get some problems. And one of them's gonna be me! Suck it! Okay, dope. Oh no, my glass! Well, really, everybody! The freaking fighting. Okay, that was not nice. Everybody always going for the groin. What the hell's that about? Yo! Left. Bit more ready for it this time. You doing good, Normie! You're surviving, at least. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 up! <laughs> we got a gun! Stay the fuck down, bro. Now let's talk. No fucking around! <laughs> Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. 
<laughs> okay. Second chance. Persist. Impress. Second chance. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. Okay, that's not what I meant. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes. Well, so I don't what? intend. You gonna cuff me? Dude. Okay. Um. Pers What's the gasoline about? You like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. That could work. Yeah, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just yeah, it, it could work. Accident. Or rather, you know. I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? You a crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man. Uh, I guess I'm fucking I don't crazy know today. About the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now, that's Blue all Lagoon again. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Okay, one sec. Sorry about that. I had to check on something. Shit, not now. Yep, just the time for it. Anything you say can and will be. Just hurry up and cuff him, man. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. No, maybe shoot that tank, man. I'm good. I'm super good. I'm all the good. I have it together, man. See? Wait, no, 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 no! That's not what I wanted! Shit, I didn't realize what he's doing! Oh, you dumbass! Crap, I didn't realize what he was doing! I thought I was just stabilizing him. I didn't want him to do the damn drugs. God dang it! We've been so clean! <sighs> Just my frickin' luck. <laughs> okay, one more sec. Okay, good. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thursday, 4.30 p.m., 3.6. <sighs> Getting awful high there. But I mean, less than a day, right? I really didn't want him to take the frickin' drugs, though. I was being so good about it. I so didn't you know. Think the origami killer killed Manfred. That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time go in the, room the means. No. Nope. Not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Hmm? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? I might. Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Okay, not gonna be a creep. <laughs> eggs it is. Alright, let's see what all we got. We have eggs. Could give her the sandwich. Eggs. I've got plates or pans that were hidden behind plates. And we got eggs. I got two of them. And a spatula. Beautiful. Nice and scrambled. Do I just keep on stirring them or? I, I guess we just keep stirring them, huh?
What happens if I step out? Oh wait, it's ready! It's ready, you fool! I should be ready by now. Okay. Come on, turn it off. Just a, just a flat egg, huh? <laughs> Delicious. Jesus, man. Oh. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Okay, yeah. Looks better on you. Jesus. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. It looks like a fat pancake of egg. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Nice. Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. What's up, Shelps? If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren... I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. Is he getting embarrassed? <laughs> that was weird. Seriously, girl, just like pull it together a little. We got some. Does he already have a the suspect? The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died thirty years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Hmm. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Irish plot. Um, grave? Time to look for John Shepard's grave. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. Okay, Kramer? I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. All right. Thanks. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Well, her kid died, so, you know, justice. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Alright, well, that's your idea. Excuse me, old miss. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? Oh, wait, here's the children's plot. Shirley. Ralph. Jacqueline. Dorothy. In the way. Andrea, Elaine, Bernard, okay, does it continue or is this going to a new plot? 
Talia plot. Nope, it's in this middle one. Okay, let's see. We got Roy Smith. This one's blank. That's weird. Vicki Mitchell. Stanley Martin. It wouldn't happen to be the one the old lady's actually at, would it? Nita Hill. Carolyn Rogers. Nicholas Wilson. Jill. Jim. Sherry. Joe Davis, Renault, Daryl, something. Oh, wait, she got it? I found it. Alright, good job. I was useless. These flowers are fresh. And it's got the origami on it. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Not a coincidence at all. Okay, so. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Oh, we're getting a flashback and everything. Well, that flashback, unfortunately, is going to have to wait for the next episode. Okay, so thoughts and opinions. Today was very action-y. We got shot at. We almost got our lady bits drilled with an actual drill, which would have been horrifying. We almost got our head caved in by some freaking random thug over at a car place. And, and now we're, we're looking at children's grades. Okay, so very weird, very action-y day. All right, let's start with Ethan. So I feel... I feel weird about it, but I feel like they wouldn't have given us the choice otherwise, right? Like, I'm really worried that we just took ourselves out of the game, which would be horrible for us if that's the case and stuff. But I feel like there has to still be an option to continue, otherwise it wouldn't have given us the choice, right? I mean, it's given us a choice twice now at least. Maybe I've had a choice each time, but I know for sure I've had it. You know, at least twice for sure with the door that says the barfly thing. The exit. Aww. So I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that it was an actual option and I didn't just, like, give up on my son by choosing that. Anything. Because, again, he was, like, a drug dealer and all, but it just, it felt wrong. It felt wrong to do it and to take the kid's you know, dad away and all that. Because, again, we'd be doing the same thing to somebody else. Yeah, we'd be taking somebody near and dear to a family just to regain ours. And that's different. That's a lot different than what the other tasks have been. The other tasks have been, you know, putting ourselves in danger. Although, technically, I guess people our people were totally in danger on the highway at first. But really, it was more about, you know, almost getting ourselves killed than getting other people killed by driving on the wrong side so it was, you know, more putting ourselves in danger. Then we had, you know, the finger. Actually, no, wait. First we had the electricity. You know, that was just putting ourselves through physical pain and torture and shock. And, you know, again, putting our life in jeopardy. And then taking the pinky finger from us. Again, that was putting pain and all that on us. This would be taken from somebody else. And it just, it, it didn't feel right and in line. And I really hope I didn't fuck everything up with it. Um... Then we had Maddie's thing. <laughs> and get on her, you know, doing her own sleuthing and all that. I still don't get what her deal is, though. <laughs> and stuff. So she just shows up to patch us up and then just inserts herself into the narrative. It's very weird. Oh, I should not drink that drink, though. <laughs> Like, I was just, like, trying to be polite, but he was pushing it too hard. I should have picked up on it. Because he was all, like, he didn't even wait for a reply. It's like, you're not answering, so that's totally a yes. And then it's like, gonna drink it? You, you sure you, you, you don't want to drink that drink? It's like, mmm. Damn. <laughs> but it all worked out. We, we got free. 
kill that asshole. But seriously, we're, that just... <laughs> I feel like that came out of nowhere. I, I guess it was to give her something to do, but it was very weird. Because I don't feel like the game has really been that for the most part. You know... Like, Ethan's been doing his own kind of things, but it's been more, you know, Saw kind of style traps and setups that he has to navigate. They're actual, like, puzzles and stuff. And then Norman has come across, you know, some violent individuals. But it feels more like, you know, they're in line with his way of work and all that, you know. We have the crazy Jesus guy and all that. And then... You know, we had the rich mafia daddy and, uh, you know, the bruiser at the junkyard. But for the most part, for most of those people, he was just talking to them. It wasn't ever actually a fight. Shelby's had a couple, you know, fights and things, but usually it's come across, you know, kind of organically <laughs> for the most part. Um, this, this just felt like it came out of nowhere. This is like, she just happened to stumble across some random guy who kills people for fun. <laughs> it's just, it was weird. But if he's, you know, working with an ally to the origami killer, I guess it makes sense. There have been occasions where serial killers run together. So at least we know Maddie's on track. And Shelby seems to be on track too here with this case. But it, I don't know, it felt weird at the apartment. Like, I don't know if he's... Is because he's trying to put like the moves on Lauren or something. Because it, it felt like we had a weird option back there when he was comforting her in the rain before. And then her walking around, you know, with her chest pretty far out there and stuff in the apartment and all that. I feel like. I feel like they're kind of doing something, but I feel like it's a little weird. Like, I don't know. Shelby comes across as, like, a kindly grandpa to me. I don't... I don't want to get him laid. <laughs> Which is weird. But, I mean... Yeah, we're figuring things out now, though. Um... And I'm wondering who we're going to be able to tie this to. Because, again, I don't feel like the Mafia son. I feel like that's a red herring. Him just being all like, Yes, I'm the origami killer. It's me all along. It's too obvious. No, it's not that. I really wish I had paid more attention to what the doctor was saying about Blue Lagoon. I'll, just, I'll see it in editing and all that, but I'm not going to be able to talk about that until the next episode. Um... So I guess that's all I really have for it right now. Um, until next time, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching. <laughs>